Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the Natatmo Urban Weather Station. For this demonstration we will set up the weather station on an Android device over Wi-Fi. Before starting ensure your phone's Bluetooth is switched on, you're connected to your regular Wi-Fi network and you have your Wi-Fi password handy. You will need the indoor and outdoor sensor, two AAA batteries and the included power supply along with a mobile device with the Natatmo app already installed. If you do not yet have an Atatmo account, click sign up and follow the prompts to register for a free account. After creating, or if you have a pre-existing account, click login and enter your details. To start, power up the indoor sensor using the included adapter. When connected to power, there will be a green blinking light. Press next. Touch the top of the station until the green light changes and starts to blink either blue or white. Press next. If you have permissions set on your mobile, you will need to allow the app to see your mobile's location. Select your relevant permissions and press next. Wait a moment as the station powers on. You will be prompted to pair with an Atatmo station. Click pair. When you see the screen, the Bluetooth pairing between the phone and station is complete. The next step is to set up the Wi-Fi connection. Press next. Wait as the app searches for the available Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network, then enter your password. The station is now connected to Wi-Fi. Click continue. Enter a name for your station, then press confirm. Time to connect the external sensor. Press next. Twist to remove the base from the outdoor sensor. Use a screwdriver to unscrew and open the battery compartment door. Insert the batteries and reinstall the base and cover. A green LED will start flashing on the unit. Press next. You can now place the outdoor module outside. Ensure that it is out of direct sunlight or any other sources which can cause temperature variations. For example, water heaters, air conditionings, vents, etc. Make sure the area is well ventilated. Press next. The app provides some setup information. Read and click next until you arrive on the app home screen. This is how all your indoor and outdoor collect data is presented. The top half of the screen is outdoor information. You can see the current particulate matter measurement with forecasting information below. Swiping across, you can see the current outdoor weather, temperature, pressure, feels like temperature, and humidity information. Swiping across will display rain information if you have an Atatmo rain gauge connected. A fourth swipe displays wind information if you have an Atatmo anemometer connected. The second half of the screen displays recorded indoor information. This includes the current temperature, CO2 level with a quick traffic light colour coded indicator located above. This is where green is good, yellow could be improved and red means the room should be ventilated. And sound levels and humidity information. If you would like a snapshot of the current conditions, you can take measurements on demand. To do this, touch the top of the indoor sensor at any time. Updated data is sent directly to your phone. As you can see, a near instant notification appears. Scrolling across the bottom half of the screen, you can select to add more indoor modules. And scrolling a third time, you can see the weather station location on a map. Pressing the blue button allows you to share this information to various platforms. On the left corner is the menu. Under Manage My Home, click your station. Then select between the indoor or outdoor unit. Starting with the indoor unit, you can view information such as Wi-Fi signal, model, MAC address and firmware version, as well as configure the four parameters measured by the indoor unit. For example, clicking into temperature allows you to set a temperature offset. The same applies to the outdoor sensor. You can configure temperature and humidity calibrations and view important information such as the gateway, model, signal, battery status, serial number and firmware. The next option on the menu is graph display. 
On the screen, you'll be able to view your collected weather information on a graph. There's not much to display here as we've only just connected the station. You can select the parameter you would like to see on the graph in the top right corner. The third option on the menu is notifications. Here, you can switch on or off a range of handy default notifications, as well as set up custom notifications. To set a custom notification, navigate to custom notifications, then press new notification. Choose your parameter and adjust options accordingly. When you hit save, your new custom notification will appear on the list. Repeat for any or all of the parameters you'd like. The fourth option under the menu is Manage Guests. Here you can set up access to home users. This is where they have access to all products in the home or to station guests only. This is where they only have access to the weather station. Under Community, here you can choose to contribute to the weather map. Below this is the Natatmo weather map. Here you can check the weather in over 170 countries. And below this are account, theme, and install new product options. And that's how to set up the Natatmo Urban Weather Station and a quick overview of the Android app. For more information on this smart weather station, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.